Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day in my life. Sorry, I look like absolute crap. But anyway, I just smacked my knee on the desk. Welcome back to another day in our life. Homeschool edition. <laughs> should probably restart this video at this point, but you know what? This is real life, and you guys know I don't share the fake stuff. This is all real here. Okay, um, we are working on Madeline's science fair project. Everybody is still asleep. Everybody's still in bed right now. I'm in the basement trying to get this done before she wakes up. Um, so she's in kindergarten. She's entering the science fair competition circuit in our area, um, and she did a project on if seeds, not just like plants, but seeds need light to grow. So will a seed, since it's buried underground, we were wondering, since it's underground, is no light really better? Or if we put it like on like a tray and give it a greenhouse effect, will light actually help stimulate that seed? Because we didn't know. Uh, we tried to grow a peach tree. And one of the things in the instruction of growing a peach tree was if it touches light, it's going to kill the seed. So then we're like, hmm, I wonder if that happens with everything else. So anyway, we put a bunch of seeds on a tray for a week with varying light from no light, four hours of light, 12 hours light, and 24 hours of light a day for an entire week. And one of those was much more successful than the others. And it was not no light. So um, that was super interesting. So basically what I did, and um, I'm going to be putting this on my Etsy store for homeschool. It's not up there yet. I don't know why I haven't put it up yet. It's just, I just haven't done it. Um, I made an entire packet. Oh, I can't get it. Okay. I made an entire packet for a homeschool guide. So this is the first page. It asks you like what your questions are, what your materials are, everything. And then if you need it for your board, it just has like little, um, like the boxes that you can fill out. You can fill them in on your computer, whatever my materials, you can just cut them out and slap them to your board if you need to. However, uh, Madeline wants her board to look all fancy. This is going to fall on the floor. Um, so anyway, I was getting ready to type everything out for her because she is unable to type. You guys know she most likely has a writing disorder and everything. So she verbally told me everything she wants on there. I'm going to type it for her and then she's going to put it all on the board. Um, she did the project herself and everything like that. That's kind of part of the, the problem here is that's what they've got to do. Uh, as a kindergarten, it's kind of difficult, but you guys know. Okay, anyway, whatever. So I'm looking at my computer at different like types of science boards and all that stuff. And everybody has the like pre cut out letters that you put on like a bulletin board at a school. I don't have time to go to Walmart. It's just me and the kids here. Danny works. If I want to go to Walmart to buy a dollar fifty worth of those, I got to take all three kids. If you're a mom of even one child, you know what trying to go into Walmart or Target is like, especially for one item. Not gonna happen. So my dad recently gave me some black cardstock. I've got a Cricut. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna take 25 times longer to make these and save ourselves a dollar fifty versus taking those kids into Walmart because that's what life's like. I'm not doing it. Let's make some little letters on a cricket until the kids wake up and then they want breakfast and then we're done. All right, I went upstairs and I took a shower real quick before Danny starts work. I think I have finished all of her typing of everything. Um, like I said, we've got her book here that we've written everything down verbally so I could type it for her. Um, got all the pictures and everything ready to go. I'm trying to decide if I want to print it all on cardstock or if I want to print it on regular paper. I don't trust my printer. Why wow, the horrible? I don't trust my printer to get through any of it. So we'll see how it goes. It's an HP printer. Those of you that know me know I absolutely hate HP printers. Um, but it was the only thing that was in stock when I needed it. So that's what I got. But, um... Yeah, I don't, I'll probably just print it on regular paper, maybe. I don't know, help. We're gonna see how this goes. I have the cardstock in there, printing black and white for the first 12 pages. I know, it's already like beeping and making weird sounds. Hello? Thank you? Are we gonna do the thing? Oh, look at that. There we go. Those are really big. I don't know if I need it that big. I might need to make this stuff smaller. Okay, guys, we finished most of the project. Maddie got most of the way done and then was like, I'm done. Too much gluing. She was really excited at first. Um, and then it somehow turned into craft time, which has resulted in this. So um, now it's going to be mommy cleanup time because you know the kids are not going to help clean it up. Anyway, let me show you what we've done. 
All right, so excuse the sound because we do have the rock tumbler going that you saw us start yesterday. We started that um, and I did have to pull off one of these because I had the plural version of hypothesis. I had hypotheses. We only made one prediction, so I had to go ahead and change it to hypothesis. So anyway, it started out great. We got everything going here. Um, and then we put all this part on here and the title on and we left this part for last because it had like the most like parts cutting out. And what's really, really weird, and I don't know why, let me turn some better lights on here. Okay, for some reason, these pictures look fine. This one and this one look fine. These look like they're in black and white. They are just as vibrant as these two pictures. I don't know what it is about them that's making them look black and white on my camera, but every picture I've taken of this board to send to somebody, the pictures of everything else look black and white. And I, I don't know why, because they're not black and white, but they're showing up. Okay, anyway, so we left this for last, and we did all of these, and we got through pretty much all of this down to the conclusion, and she was like, mm, I'm kind of done. Um, and as you can see, we didn't really space it out very well. There are going to be some pictures, like little itty-bitty pictures here to go with the procedures. We didn't space it out super great, but, you know, it's a kindergarten category. It's going to be just fine. Um, so, but we've got it all there. She picked out pretty much everything um colors and everything which is why our thing about plants and life science earth science plant science whatever you want to call it uh is pink and blue instead of green and yellow and earthy colors and browns and you know whatever she wanted pink and blue so she got pink and blue so here it is we've also gone ahead and we put some new trays under here um oh that's a problem oh no i've moved them that's right this one this one is the four hours a day um anyway uh, we put some more in here. It's only really going to be like 48 hours, um, which they did actually start doing things in 48 hours, but if for whatever reason, they look slightly different when we go to drop the project off tomorrow night, I'll go ahead and bring those along. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we've got all these like indoor plants growing, um, getting ready for spring, but we do have the four hour zucchini here still growing. Uh, everything else died because, well, this one I broke the roots of when I transplanted it, and these ones got too tall and fell over and died. So we have the four hour zucchini left. I know we're doing great. Four hour zucchini left and upstairs I actually have a marigold as well that's still growing. So we are going to bring our actual plant that we grew in the project with us. So anyway, there's that. This is really what life is like, by the way, um, for anybody who's wondering those, those, you know, YouTube channels where they're like, oh, we've got a perfect life. This is our day. It's amazing. We homeschool and like everything's perfect. And yeah, no, those are all a lie. This is what it's like. This, this is real life, but I have ADHD. So welcome to my life with ADHD homeschooling. It's this chaotic every day. You're welcome. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. We ended up watching Inside Out um, and just kind of going to bed after we were done with everything. But we went ahead and we got our uh, pictures all on here. So that's what that looks like. Our rock tumbler also stopped in the middle of the night. So turned it back on. I'm hoping that's okay. The only thing we have to do still is I need to um, print out her procedure pictures. And we're just kind of going to like line them up in this area of the different things that she had to do. Um, but other than that, it's done and we get to drop it off today. So that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, also out of a strange series of events, was not expecting this to happen, but our praying mantis is hatched in the middle of the night. And now I'm kind of stressing out what I'm supposed to do with them because they were supposed to hatch like eight weeks from now when it's warm outside. They're going to die if I release them outside. So got to figure out what to do with them. Well, guys, I don't even know what kind of vlog this was today because this was just a weird day. But anyway, pretty much just watch us put together a science fair project. I look like crap. I'm sorry. It's early in the morning. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well. I still have this mess on the floor, but that's what life is all about. I'm going to get some editing done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Come back tomorrow for the science fair where we're going to be dropping everything off. And then the following day, we get to see if she won anything, I guess. Um, we're not really expecting a whole lot. It's our first time doing the science fair in the kindergarten category, but we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in the next one. Give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Also come back to see what we do with those praying mantis because I have no idea yet, but I'll see you guys. Bye guys.